Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 BMW Z4 S Drive 30i Roadster. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. After a three year hiatus from the U.S. market, BMW has pulled the wraps off its all new 2019 BMW Z4 Roadster revealing a soft convertible roof that parts ways with the previous retractable hardtop Z4. The new Z4 is longer, wider, and taller than its predecessor, but rides on a wheelbase an inch shorter. As far as configurations of the new 2019 BMW Z4, there will be two versions. One that's going to come out later, an M40i with a turbocharged 3-liter inline 6, making 382 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. And the 30i model, which we're going to build in price and review today, with BMW's latest turbocharged 2-liter inline 4, that makes 250, a respectable 255 horsepower and a nice 295 pound-feet of torque. Now... Two engines are confirmed for the U.S. market. That's that base engine and then the M40 engine, which really uses a juiced-up version of the twin turbocharged 3-liter engine that was seen in the M240i. I actually did a review of the 2018 BMW M240i, and so I'm going to put a link up. I also did a review of all the accessories, all the cool accessories you can put on that car. There's a link to that video from the other video so you can check all that out okay let's see what colors they have for the new z4 roadster let's drag and rotate it says we can do yeah all right we can drag and rotate there that is there all right see that drag and rotate and the color that they're showing right now is called meridian i'm sorry mediterranean blue metallic and the next color here is san francisco red then there is mineral white metallic. Let's see if we can turn this a little bit more. Can we turn that? Hang on a second. Okay, got that turned a little bit. It's a little finicky. All right, then there's glacier silver metallic, followed by, by black sapphire metallic. They've been doing that black for a long time. And then alpine white. So they're keeping to just six really kind of primary basic colors. And, and that's fine. So there's only one model to show. They said the Z4 S-Drive shown. S-Drive just means it's two-wheel drive and not four-wheel drive. If it was four-wheel drive, it would say X-Drive. Here they give us a little more uh, information. They let, give us that horsepower number. We know that already. 255 horsepower. What we didn't know is how fast it is 0 to 60, and that is 5.2 seconds from 0 to 60. Check it out. Dynamic design, one for the purest, sportiness, excitement, and all above. Above all, sorry, attitude. The new Z4 is the classic Roadster Reborn. I like the lines. I like the design. It's got sharp. Uh, it looks really, really good. This is obviously the M Sport version, I'm assuming. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's keep going and dig into this. There's not a whole bunch to go over. There's an overview page that we're going to go over, and we're almost about halfway through that. Then we're going to go over this pricing and features page, kind of get all the details, and then we'll build and price ours, okay? So here they're going to tell us about uh, signature looks, a new design language, aerodynamic lines, and an electric soft top. So starting up at signature looks, it says BMW's long legacy of pioneering roadster design Reaches new heights in the all-new Z4. Sharp, clean-cut character lines exude uh, energy and present a distinctive take on a sporty, on sporting classic. And then they're saying new design language, the new mesh design of the active Airstream kidney grille and vertically aligned LED headlights, a first for BMW, help this roadster redefine what it means to be visually enthralling. Aerodynamic lines, it says... With its larger air breathers, aerodynamic vents and all that there. And we can see all the aerodynamic lines that this vehicle has. We can see all those aerodynamic lines. We don't even need to necessarily read it. And then, of course, it's got that new electric soft top, whereas the previous Z4 had a retractable hard top, with, which for me, I'm not really a convertible guy. I actually liked a convertible hard top. I actually like that. Here's another shot of it from the front. We can see those kidney grills. They said that the kidney grills are active. That means that they, behind the, the beautiful look, 
the, there are shutters that will open and close so it can control airflow, right? Control airflow in and around the engine and the bot in the car. And so we can see those new headlights they were talking about. What did they say about the headlights? They said that's a new vertical line, which is this line right here. And it's really attractive. The Z4 is a good-looking car. And even in its base form, 255 horsepower is probably plenty for this vehicle. Here they're telling us uh, impressive technology. A classic Roadster driving experience is made better with the latest and greatest BMW driving uh, technology. It says tomorrow meets tradition. Look how attractive that is. It's good-looking, isn't it? It's a nice-looking interior. The seats look comfortable. The car is not big, as you know, but yet the interior looks nice and roomy. The iDrive is beautifully displayed. The speakers are beautifully in integrated into the door. I don't know if this is a leather dashboard, but it sure does look pretty close to being leather. Super chunky steering wheel. Looks like a full LCD uh, instrument cluster. What I don't, what I do notice that I that I'm not a fan of is I can see that this is an M Sport version. But yet, I don't see, like, the polished aluminum M-Sport dead pedal. Why is that not there? You know, why is that not there? And does this vehicle come with heads up? Maybe not, because the dash is so small. Maybe they can't fit all that in there. So maybe not. Okay, so it says here, they're going to tell us information. A reimagined cockpit. Experience the ultimate in connectivity and control with standard BMW Live Cockpit Professional. A new resolution, 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. That's what I was talking about up here. That, uh, right here, that's the digital instrument cluster right there. So that's a 12.3-inch uh, digital instrument cluster and a 10.25-inch central information display. Uh, display. Uh, and it gives you vital driving information, such as navigation and all that other stuff, and the navigation professional system. Drivers can engage with the latest BMW iDrive 7.0 operating system using the touchscreen, voice commands, and the new haptic control. Haptic just simply means that when you press the, on, on something, that it kind of gives you a little vibration back as a positive confirmation that you've touched that button or whatever you're trying to do. Ah, they answered my question. Available features include heads-up display, my favorite feature. The first ever on a BMW Roadster, haha. -ha. Uh, and the driving assistance package with active driving assistant, active blind spot detection, lane departure warning, and much more. It says performance legacy. The original Roadsters were built to deliver maximum excitement. The all-new Z4 continues that enthralling legacy. It's a nice-looking vehicle, isn't it? This one's obviously M Sport. They're showing their best-looking one that they have right now until that, uh, until the M4, uh, M, uh, M, what do they call it? Until the M40i comes out. It says, engine power, increased thrills, a more powerful 2-liter 4-cylinder twin-power turbo engine available for the first time in the all-new BMW Z4 Roadster. Delivers an increase of 15 horsepower and an impressive 35 pound foot of torque over the previous model. It's going to feel pretty sporty. But how much does this mod, this car weigh versus the previous model? Hmm? Right? They don't tell you that because that will ultimately tell you how much of this you're going to uh, really feel. And since you saw half of that, look at that. M Sport seats that look like kind of like a Spider-Man thing up at the top. But they're very nice. They're very, very nice. Uh, seating for two, a pair of standard M Sport seats for driver and passenger provide comfort and support on the most energetic drives and come covered in your choice of Sensitech or gorgeous uh, leather. I'm not going to try to butcher that word. You either get fake leather or real leather. Agile handling, motorsport inspiration, rigid body, brand new front and rear suspension, add to the sporting pedigree of the all new BMW Z4. Grab the standard sport leather uh, steering wheel and or the available M steering wheel and prepare to take control. You know, I was just thinking that just yesterday I did a build and price of the new Jaguar F-Type. Now, it was an R-Spec, so it's got a lot of horsepower and it was over $100,000. But, you know, it's a Roadster. And I'm just wondering, do you think the Jaguar F-Type is more attractive than this Z4? Do you think it's more motorsport inspiration? Because... Jaguar was going on and on and on about their stuff, too. I'm going to put a link up to that video so you can check out the Jaguar F-Type. Brilliantly engineered performance from start to finish. The all-new uh, BMW Z4 is built with a wider stance, near-perfect 50-50 weight distribution, and exquisite, exquisite, they say, aerodynamics. And they do look good. I love the way it looks. It looks fantastic. 
dual chrome tailpipes, as we can see, put the finishing touch on BMW's latest dream machine. And then they show this picture, which doesn't have that great a resolution. Uh, and then it says, make it yours. The all-new Z4 is agile aggressor that's ready to redefine the pure excitement of driving. Okay. Uh, before we customize ours, let's go to pricing and features and see all our little specs and whatnot before we get over to that. All right, so we're over here on the features and specifications page, and we're going to go through that stuff kind of fast. Uh, we can see that the starting MSRP for this vehicle uh, is $49,700. Where will we end up at the end? We won't know, I guess, until we get to the end, will we? All right, so here's all these standard features. So look how they break it down. They've got these categories, drive, appearance, technology, and then protection. And then under each of those categories, they have these little subcategories. Like under drive, there's performance and efficiency, and then handling, ride, and braking. So what we're going to do is we're going to go one by one under these categories and then look under these subheadings. So we'll start with performance and efficiency and work our way all the way down until we get to the bottom. And we'll go through it kind of quick, okay? So under performance and efficiency, you know, they're just going to kind of give you some bullet points. And I'm not going to read every one of them, so don't worry. I'm not going to read every one of them, but if I do, I'm only kind of – got to look at ones that are kind of high points to me like it's got the two liter engine and we already know about that so i wouldn't i wouldn't go into that but it's got the nice eight speed sport automatic transmission and all that there and it's got curves brake energy regeneration so when you're braking it takes that kinetic energy and stores it and uses it however they use it you'd have to dig into that more to figure that out so that's what they have to say about performance and efficiency handling and braking they've got what Twin tube gas pressure shock absorbers, variable sport steering. They've got what they call a double aluminum double pivot spring and strut type front suspension. They said it was new and it sounds new. And it's got a central link rear suspension with cast aluminum upper uh, transverse links. And then, of course, it comes with front and rear anti roll bars uh, to give it that good flat cornering. Under appearance, they're going to let us know that it's got the full LED fog lights. It's got the full LED headlights. Uh, comes standard with non-metallic paint. And the wheels are, they're 18-inch wheels. They're 18.8. They're 18 and 8, 18 8s up front, 18 9s in the back, so they're staggered. 225s up front, 255s in the back. Uh, rear performance, non-run flat tires. Okay, so under interior seating, they say they have those M-Sport seats. And remember, I did say something about I wonder if the dashboard was leather or anything. Well, they're telling us right now that the dashboard is not leather. It's got the Sensatec dashboard. Sensatec upholstery is standard, yet you get the M seat with the, with the faux leather. And the seats are 14-way power front seats with electric seat adjustment and all of that does quite a bit. And it comes with some floor mats. For the audio system, it's their basic audio system. Uh, with Bluetooth playback, pre-wiring for Sirius XM radio. And in my experience, I've had a few BMWs. I'm no, I'm no stranger to BMW's ownership. And uh, their stock stereo system is pretty good. And in a small car like that with a very small interior compartment space, even the standard stereo is going to really sound impressive, I bet. Okay, under instrumentation and controls, the first thing that jumps out to me is that they have Apple CarPlay. Uh, but one-year trial, right? You, they're going to give it to you free for one year, and then it's a subscription service. And they don't say anything about uh, Android Auto. Or, I mean, you, you know what I'm saying. They don't say anything about, uh, about the other one. I said the other one. I guess you know what kind of phone I use. Uh, tire pressure monitor, um, BMW Connected Drive Services, LCD main and trip odometers, dynamic cruise control. What is that? Cruise control. Okay. I thought that was going to give us more information about dynamic cruise control. Then they tell us about the whole live cockpit professional and all that. We already read up on that. But what we didn't hear is that it has 20 gigabytes of multimedia storage. That's for your music and all that, which is pretty cool. Under luxury, under comfort and convenience, they say luxury features for a pleasant ride. It's got an engine stop start button. It's got a soft close trunk, ambient lighting, dual power mirrors. Right, auto dimming interior rear view mirror and driver side exterior. It's got an interior trunk release, universal garage door opener, couple uh, cup holders. 
under protection, safety and security. It's got adaptive brake lights. It's got a rollover protection system. It's got automatic safety belt pretensioners. It's got programmable LED daytime running lights. It's got an alarm system. It's got coded driveway protection, whatever that is. It's got active guard with frontal collision warning. Um, it's got an impact sensor that activates battery safety terminal, disconnect of alternator, fuel pump, and starter from battery, and turns on hazard interior lights and all this other stuff. Uh, impact sensor. So if there's an accident, it does all of that. So that's cool. And finally, under warranty, they just tell you that, what, four-year, 50,000-mile new vehicle limited warranty, uh, four-year unlimited mileage roadside assistance, and 12-year unlimited mileage for rust. All right, let's check some specifications. So we know it's a two-liter engine, makes 255 horsepower at 5,000 RPMs to 6,500 RPMs. Then it makes 295 pounds of torque from 1,500 RPMs all the way up to 4,400 RPM. It's going to be a good running car that's going to feel peppy right off a of throttle, meaning meaning that if you're sitting at a stoplight and, and the car basically idles at almost 1,000 RPMs anyway. So you're going to have full torque right off right off idle all the way up to 4,400 RPMs. That's basically the zone where your engine lives in all the time when you're driving all over town, on the highway, everything. You rarely go over that probably that 4,400 RPM. So that's awesome. Under performance, we know that the 0 to 60 is 5.2 seconds. Um, what else is that? Um, they don't really give us that much more. They say that the fuel tank is 13.7 gallons. We know that we have non-run flat tires. Here they're going to give us some dimensions. The vehicle is 170 inches, 170.7 inches long, 73.4 inches wide, 51.4 inches tall. It weighs about 32, just over 3,200 pounds. Uh, it's got 38.9 inches of headroom. It's got 42.2 inches of legroom. And it's got a, well, pretty generous 54.3 inches of shoulder room. Okay, so now we're on the build and price page, or we're on the starting to build right now. Let's us know rear wheel drive, 32 miles to the gallon. That's combined, 0 to 60. They let us know that already. Um, yeah, $49,700 is the starting price. Let's go. First thing they want to show us is do we want the sport line, which is more of a luxury look, or do we want the sporty spice M Sport look? Well, I like M Sport. So it says maximize your vehicle's athletic pedigree with aggressive features inspired by BMW M cars. The bold look projects a muscular aesthetic that feels at home on any road. I like that. Okay, on to colors. Let's put the top up. All right, that's what it looks like with the top up. Can we get a different angle? Yep, that's a good angle. Look at that little spoiler kicking up right there. I like this car. Here's our color selections. So let's start here. We've got, uh, what color is that? Let me pull this down a little bit. That's called Frozen Gray 2 Metallic. This is San Francisco Red. Here's that uh, Masano Blue. It's actually not bad. I'm not even a blue color person. Now, this Mediterranean blue, which I clicked because I just wanted to see the, the color. Uh, apparently, if you want the Mediterranean blue, you cannot have an M-Sport package for whatever reason. Which is fine because I don't want the Mediterranean blue anyway. So, that's fine. Um, how about... Oh, and mineral white either? Okay, well, whatever. Now, you're getting personal. Glacier silver. All right, you can have it in black, though. And you can have it in your standard alpine white. Well, I tell you what, let's do, let's do, well, eh, I don't want to do a black BMW. Let's do a, let's do a San Francisco red BMW, right, with our M Sport package. And then down here, a little bit lower, we've got roof options. So we've got the standard soft top, which is what's selected, or there's a moonlight black soft top. What does moonlight black mean? I don't even know. Let's click it. Does it change it? Ah, it's a little bit lighter. Moonlight black, so it's just a little lighter. I think I want the full standard black soft top. All right, let's move on to wheel selection. Wheels are always some of my favorites. So these are the 18-inch M double-spoke orbit gray wheels. Uh, what about these if we mouse over? So these are 18-inch. What are these down here? 19-inch V-spoke ferret gray performance non-run flat. Let's see what those look like. So in order to do this, wow, really? You got to have the Sportline package? 
Huh, interesting. What about this one? All right. Well, we can do these 19-inch ones. So we can do those. What about these 19-inch M double spoke? I think I like those. Those remind me of the ones that sort of kind of come on like the new BMW M5, which I actually have done that car. Let me put a link up. Okay, so we, we're going to go with those wheels that reminded me of the M5. And then we're going to go with, uh, we're definitely not going with the black Sensatec. I can tell you that right now. This is the leather with Alcantara. Now to do that, we have to add ambient lighting. Well, I'm not opposed to that, but I'm not ready to commit to that yet. So let's just back out of that. Um, how about this, this magma red, right? And I guess we don't want to do that because the car is already red. We don't want red on red. How about just the black? So I guess no matter what, we have to do ambient lighting if you get leather interior. That seems to be the takeaway. So let's just go ahead and select select one of them so we can see. Here's the seats, and they look great, but what do they look like with, like, Alcantara? Eh, they look okay. They look just okay. How about with the red, just out of curiosity? Um, that's all right, but that's probably too much red. Mm, that's all right, too. I guess we'll go with the black leather with contrast stitch piping. It's a $1,700 option, and that's fine. Let's move on to the trim. Okay, so we want high gloss, or how about this? Well, it barely changed. There's a little change right down there. Or what about that trim? A little change right there, or the high gloss? Actually, probably the high gloss looks fine. Actually, the high gloss probably looks fine. It's such an insignificant little piece, but yet it does make a difference. Uh, I think I like the high gloss. Hey, take note up here in this else in the instrument cluster. It looks like there's a map displayed up there. Very cool, isn't it? There's your parking sensors and your sonar being shown here. It's a nice car. It's a very, very nice car. Okay, uh, packages. They've got a convenience package. And the convenience package basically gives you a parking assistant, lumbar support, Sirius XM satellite radio, a subscription of it, a one-year subscription, active driving assistance, and comfort access with keyless entry. All right, so that's the convenience package, and that gives you quite a bit, and it's 1400 bucks. Then there's this driver assistance package. It's $500. Active blind spot detection. Uh, active driving assist. Lane departure warning. It has a whole bunch of stuff. Frontal collision warning with city mitigation. Cross traffic alert. Uh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Speed limit info is additionally included. This premium package is where your heads up display li uh, lives. So you know I'm all over that. Wireless charging. Wi-Fi hotspot. Heated front seats. This is the good stuff right there. Then there's an executive package, and that gives you full LED lights, automatic high beams, ambient lighting, uh, Harman Kardon surround sound system. We already have the, the leather, ambient lighting. Yeah, we already went over that. Automatic high beams, ambient lighting, adaptive full LED headlights, Harman Kardon surround sound system. That's 2200 That's 2500 bucks for that package. Then there's this track handling package for 2450 that gives you an M Sport differential and M Sport brake. So it's going to really make this car really sporty. So, hmm, you know what? I think I really want all of the packages, honestly. They all sound good to me. Let me see about it, though. Okay, so here's what I did. The convenience package, I was going to choose the convenience package, but it wouldn't give me the convenience package unless it wanted to remove the M Sport package. So that was a no-go. Did get the driver assistance package, all right? We did get the premium package that gave us well, that's where the heads up lot does, uh, lived. Had to have that. Got that executive package. Went ahead and got the full package. Right, that gives us the Harman Kardon surround sound, a full adaptive LEDs, everything that go, do, does that. And then I got the track handling package. But here's what was interesting about the track handling package. When I selected the track handling package, I had to remove the M Sport suspension. All right, so I sat and thought about that for a second, and that is obviously I decided that I wanted to go for it. So we've got also the track handling package. So this thing is, it's as sporty as it can be, honestly. Okay, on to options. Lastly, there's a remote engine start, heated steering wheel, extended shadow line trim. If you're not sure what shadow line is, shadow line is, instead of there being chrome like around things, they make it like dark. So... Let's see. Extended shadow line trim. Make your Z4 stand out even more with high gloss uh, elements, including kidney frames, side grills. 
Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do that. $300 option. Heated steering wheel. Let's do that. After the winter that I, we've been having, I'm cold. Yeah, let's do the heated steering wheel. Remote engine start. Yeah, I'm down for that. Boom. Awesome. Love that feature as well. So that way I can get the heater already plumbed up. Start the car. It could warm the car up. Or in the summer, get it cool. Right? It's ready to go. Then lastly, there's this active cruise control and then park distance control. I know I want park distance control. What? No. No, 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 no. Forget it. Forget it. Okay. How about active cruise control? I bet you you have to remove the M Sport. Oh, no, you don't have to. Though. Okay. So I guess, uh, if I, I guess I wanted active cruise control. I'm not really about it. Active cruise control maintains your selected speed. It also uses radar to keep your pre-selected distance from the vehicle ahead uh, and all that. I'm not really into it. I'm going to go ahead and remove that option because I'm not really trying to do active cruise control. So let's move on. I think we're ready to go to the summary. All right. Here we are at the summary. Price is built, 62340 You know, it's a lot of car. I threw, I basically put every option on the vehicle, right? I put every option on the vehicle. Let's put the top down. Put every option on the vehicle, right? Here's our highlights, the color, the roof we chose, the wheels, the upholstery, the trim. There's a nice shot of our car. All our standard features are here. Here's what I'm going to tell you, right? Here's the deal. If you like the way I built and priced this 2019 BMW Z4, right s drive 30i i'm going to print off this build summary and i'm going to put it in the description below so that way you can download it to too as an also so we're at the end uh i think this is a really great car i like it a lot love the wheels love the color love the seats love the fit and finish love everything that they've done i even love the base engine and i don't normally like the fast ones so this is a nice car to me, and it's a lot of car, and I think the money is reasonable. I think the money is good, too. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for joining me. If you're still here, you're awesome. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, have a wonderful, wonderful day.